And we're back with uh, our, one of our other guest conductors. This is Rob Carnahan with, uh, from the uh, University of Miami Frost School of Music. So welcome, Rob. Thank you very much. Great to, to have you here. Great to um, you. It's fun for me personally with, with our, our history years and years ago when I was uh, teaching, I mean not that many years ago, but oh, it, it was a while ago, <laughs> uh, I, was, I was teaching band in, in Colorado and I was fortunate enough to be just down the road from CU Boulder where Rob was uh, assistant band director and actually had him come out and work with my group a couple of times and it was a Centaurus wonderful, High School, right? Centaurus High School, yes it was, so it was a, always a wonderful experience having you, I was very fortunate to have you down the road there. Thank you very much, it was great to be there at that point in time. It yeah. was great to meet you and all the other people in that area. Mm -hmm. so. History is interesting. It is. It has it's crossed a, in different ways. Yes, they do. So, so talk to us a little bit about, uh, you've been now at Miami, how many? Two years. Two this years. is only year two for this me. This is year two. I knew yeah. it was fairly recent. Yeah. So tell us maybe a little bit about the school and what's happening there and what sure. you've got going on. Well, I was just talking to John Casagrande and Greg and everybody about uh, the scene at Miami, which is extremely interesting because it's, uh, the school is not that large. It's about 16,000 students. Uh, it's a private school, so it does have a fairly hefty price tag to it. But the music school is one of the first uh, colleges, uh, schools within the university that was opened in 1926. And there has been a great history of people that have gone through there. Frederick Fennell was there, Alfred Reed was there, Henry Fillmore has a really significant connection. Um, Alfred Reed started the music business program at the University right. of Miami yeah. a long time ago that is hitting on all cylinders right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and so there's a whole bunch of really cool things. Music therapy is a big thing at the University of Miami. The uh, music engineering program is one of the best in the nation. They've got a really good recording tech program. So there's all this really cool stuff in addition to you can also learn to be a band director, you can yes. be a performance major in kind of the more mainstream traditional tracks. So Miami's a really, really interesting place to be. My okay. father is the University of Florida class of 1965, so I'll get in trouble for saying anything nice <laughs> about Miami, but, um, but Miami's uh, yeah, one of the more uh, forward-thinking music schools in terms of business and entrepreneurship uh, on top of the excellence in all of all the music business and entrepreneurial skills in the world don't mean anything if you can't conduct incredibly well and if you can't well, play the heck out of the trumpet and if you can't do all of those things man, but those are all taken care of as you well just so. hit the nail right in the middle of the head there That's i'm gonna exactly go home right. now. Yeah, right, you're done, done. Drop, <laughs> boom, you're no, out. There's, there's great things happening well at Frost. thank you yep. it, you know it's Shelly Berger, Dean, is really visionary about yes, uh, entrepreneurship and this experiential music curriculum that he's trying to make very hands-on. So it's not just talking about theory and talking about history, but putting that into kids' ears and having them listen to chord changes and play chord changes and hear all these things That's in real time, not just theoretically on uh, manuscript paper. That's so, great. Well, it, um, makes it, it makes it real. I mean, that's the thing I remember yeah. from from you know, my undergrad days is theory and thinking, how am I ever really going to use this? You know, I mean, it just, it, 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 and so that's fantastic to put it into a context yeah. where it's going to go to use. Sure. And then we've got people like Craig Morris, who played principal trumpet in the Chicago Symphony he's, Orchestra, he's and Aaron Tyndall teaching tuba, freak. and yeah. Trudy Kane, who played 32 years in the Metropolitan Symphony Orchestra, uh, or Metropolitan Opera as principal flute. So we've got the, the studio faculty to back up the performance end of it, and the theory people to back up this whole experiential curriculum. Outstanding. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, again, it's, it's wonderful having you here. We're eager Thanks to see so much. Uh, what... Uh, what you're going to do with the groups. I'll uh, try not to mess anybody up too badly. Well, I think you're going to be just fine. <laughs> if, if the experience that my kids had with you in Colorado is an yeah. indication, uh, these kids are in for a real treat and uh, some wonderful uh, knowledge and, and wisdom passed on to them. You're so. too kind, sir. Thank All you right. very much. Well, thanks Appreciate for being here, Rob. You bet. And uh, we'll be right back. All right.